Hello everybody, I hope everybody's having a great day today. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Okay, today is my very first time doing this type of video. I'm sure that by the thumbnail you know what it is and please bear with me because I've never done one of these videos and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get myself organized. <laughs> so the first thing I need to do is make some room. I don't know which side I should do it on. Let's try this side. Okay, keeping my fingers crossed that we start on a good note. Now, Trend Mood 1 is talking about holiday releases. We have some beautiful Lancôme. Hopefully I'm showing you the pictures as we go. <laughs> I want that eyeshadow palette. I really do. They're, even with the blue in it, I want that eyeshadow palette and, 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 and one lipstick. I want them. Probably not going to be able to get them, but I want them. <laughs> and then uh, I can skip the Dior palette. I don't I can skip the Dior palettes. Um, as beautiful as they are, chances are they're going to be over $150 each Canadian, if not $200 each. Um, yeah, I, if somebody gave it to me, I'd be, oh, thank you. <laughs> but me, no. Um, what else do we have here? We've got some Laura Mercier. Some beautiful Laura Mercier. I dream of getting that blush and one of her primers. And I was watching Morgan Turner do her roundup video yesterday. Well, I watched it yesterday. And she says, I wanted the blurring one, but she says there's really no difference between the hydrating and blurring one. So I'd be happy with the hydrating primer but there's I like I'm, I'm drooling here at the the crayons powder I can live without and that looks like um, perfume as well and skincare and those seem like new brushes they look a lot like the Wayne Goss brushes and the Clidipo and the Clidipo granted I would be happier with a Suku eyeshadow quad and blush. But if, as I said before, if someone gave it to me, I would not say no. But they look beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's see. What else do I have here? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Adept Cosmetics. Unity Blush and Eyeshadow Palette. Drool. Like drool <laughs> do I want it sure sure <laughs> am I gonna buy it no there's way too much in my list of wants and this is a little too colorful for me to take my very few spending dollars on it but it's beautiful you see the swatches it's like the the blush palette like <laughs> that's all I gotta say okay what else do we have here oh these blushes this is uh from makeup on your radar it's from HNB cosmetics these cream blushes wow these first of all never heard of HNB cosmetics um, from what I saw, I checked this out. Okay, available in 10 shades, a mixture of pinks and peaches, glossy skin blush tint. It says 13 pounds. 13 pounds, technically, you double it, so it, we're looking at $26. Um, I think they were $28.29 on the website in Canadian dollars when I looked at it yesterday. But man... This looks beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. The shade range, they could have at least one deeper shade, but the shades are gorgeous. It, they really are. 
absolutely beautiful yeah they 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 wow okay unfortunately i i looked at a few other things on their website yesterday and um they're a little pricey <laughs> okay right, what else do we have we have available now in europe mac limited edition how do i say this i don't remember the last time i got anything mac it's it's no i'm done with mac because it's always the same thing it's always a plug to for people to spend money it's another limited edition with beautiful packaging but you're going to have the same thing three times over no okay that's all the time i'm going to spend on that um okay here's a beautiful one from maybelline let me see now they are creamy tint for buildable color the packaging is adorable it looks like little cushions uh coming soon to their website and all retailers they look absolutely gorgeous absolutely fantastic i want one <laughs> <laughs> Chances are they'll be like 20 bucks, but uh, yeah, it's long lasting blurred matte lip color. Smooth blurring matte finish, transfer resistant, smudge proof, kiss proof, and waterproof. Marshmallow bouncy elastomer, creamy texture that glides smoothly onto lips for a lightweight wear. I want those. At least one. <laughs> And everybody's been talking about the Little Mermaid from Sigma. I have to say, I want the blush and highlight. I want a blush and highlight. But they're going to be pricey. The palette, I'm not that interested in the palette, honestly. I'm trying to see if there's going to be uh, no pricing. But uh, yeah, I'm not interested in the palette little too colorful but the blush and highlight yeah yeah okay everybody's been talking about the gucci glow powder gel highlighter yeah i'd love to get a bronzer and one blush before i think about a highlighter <laughs> yeah we'll get there it's one of those that i would love to get but it's going to be expensive. It says here $59. That is US. I'm betting it's going to be 77 Canadian. 67 or 77. One of the two. Chances are because it's a highlight, it's going to be 77. Because I think the blushes are 67. And I think the bronzer is 89. <laughs> the prices I mentioned while I'm looking at you. <laughs> are Canadian CAD when I'm when I'm looking down they are unfortunately USD so yeah I would like that but there's always priorities okay I saw this one uh, the Sailor Moon connect uh, collection from the cam shop okay when my girls were little Sailor Moon was everything for the four of us I mean three girls and mom so it was everything Sailor Moon, backpacks, bedding, the toys, the toys, the toys. <laughs> so now we've got the chem shop and they've got the charm mask, the sheet mask, the macaron lip balms. We've got Luna and Artemis, uh, the blemish patches, the headband Luna and the hydrogel girt under eye patches. Like, yeah, at least at least the lip balm and yeah, the, the head and <laughs> I'm not 56, I'm six. <laughs> oh, what else do I have in here? I didn't take much because this is my first time, as I said before. So I, I could talk for 20 hours, but I still have to edit this. Now, I've heard some people talk and I saw Rose used the ABH uh, eyebrow volumizing tinted brow gel. It looked 
gorgeous. She even used a shade darker than what she prefers and it still looked great. And they have a plethora of colors. It says water resistant, lightweight, built nine shades, mousse like texture and precision brush. I saw her use it. It looked fabulous. Would I love to have it? Absolutely. Will I buy it? Depends on the price. Because as I said, there's so many other things I would like. And I have used her brow gel, her regular brow gel, and I still have two little minis to go through, and I like that one. So I can imagine this one would have to be better, especially if, if Rose likes it. So, yeah, I would like that one. And I wanted to talk briefly about Emco Beauty. I went on their website. Okay, there's supposed to be a dupe brand. Their prices are high. Like, for Canadian, I, I get it, they're coming from Australia, but their prices are high. I will go to Sephora and get anything from Sephora for the same, if not a little lower prices. We've got LYS, Sephora Collection, Rare Beauty, there's probably others that you can get for a lower price than Emco Beauty. So I, I, for Canadians, they're pricing themselves out of the market. It's that simple. My Canadian girls, go to Sephora, get yourself something else, stay away from Emco. They're not, a dupe brand is not worth the price, unless it's Elf. <laughs> this is not. Everything is over $20. It's not worth it. It's a dupe brand, not worth it. Get, get yourself anything from Sephora that's uh, more economical. Um, okay, one more from Hindash. This is the first time I see something from Hindash that I am tempted to try. And it is their Gradient Highlighters. Hybrid Gel Powder Highlighter Formula that mimics pure light on the skin. From a sheer glow to an ultimate shimmer fantasy. This transparent structure features pearlescent pigments in their purest form, layers up for maximum shimmer dimension on the face, eyes, and body. There are three shades and uh, available, oh, there are, it's already available. So there you go, go check that out. That is from Trend Mood 1 as well. Trend Mood 1 for Emco Beauty. I'm, trust me, I've been checking out others, but it seems that all of mine here are from Trend Mood 1. Oh, here's another one, Patrick Ta. I would love to try Patrick, the Patrick Ta Foundation. I really would. I've seen a few people use it, and it looks fantastic. Just make sure you use a brush. That's what I've been hearing from the people that I've been watching. Use a brush, and it looks beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. These are my real glasses, by the way, not just readers. <laughs> They're my progressives. And uh, it's the first time I get to wear my real glasses. But yeah, Patrick Ta, I would love to get my hands on. But if it's 58 USD, I don't want to know how much it is. So I've spent about $2,000 today. <laughs> Maybe a thousand. <laughs> <Not. laughs> but I did get the Ghost Town USA. So there we go. Hopefully I can get everything beautiful here <laughs> and it'll work well. And uh, I will do this, I'm hoping at least once a month. I should do it more often, but let's start with once a month. <laughs> what, what's, I don't know, we're the beginning, the first week of September. Okay, so first week of October, I gotta write this down. <laughs> Thank you everybody once again. For coming to visit with me. Please leave me a comment, like my video, and subscribe to my channel. A bientôt.